Alright, well hey everybody, it's Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. We got some vape stuff to talk about today. Some mouth to lung vape stuff we're going to talk about today. I have two very similar-ish products here. This is the Exceed from Joytech. This is the Endura T20S from Inokin. They're both batteries. They both have little mouth to lung tanks on top and they're both very, very similar with some little subtle differences. And what we're going to do in order to get to know both of these just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we always do. Yeah, quick short up, be closey time. Double mouth to lung toot. All right, cool. We got these two guys right here. They're going to be going head to head. We got the Joytech Exceed over here. We got the Inokin Endura T20S over here. And I'm comparing these because they're very similar devices. They both have a round rechargeable battery. The Inokin Endura is substantially bigger, longer, and wider than the Exceed from Joytech. Side to side, you can see the Exceed is substantially, not substantially taller, but yeah, it's a bit taller. It's a little bit taller of a device. They both have clicky fire buttons, and when you fire the Exceed, you get a little LED ring right here. When you fire the Inokin, you get the traditional Inokin green, yellow, red light show. When you turn it on and off, one, two, three, one, two, three, red, yellow, green. Inokin's been doing that forever, and I'm glad it still exists on the T20S kit. Both batteries are a good size. They're easy to manage. You can hold them. Inokin says the Endura T20S has a 1500 ma or milliamp hour battery, and unfortunately, Joytech doesn't divulge the ma or milliamp hour of the Exceed on their website. It just says Exceed D20 battery, so that's that. The Exceed tank is a very traditional tank. The coil head screws into the base, the top screws onto the coil head, and then you unscrew this this part here to fill it up. And let's do that now. Then this just screws back together and that goes back on the battery. The Inokin's constructed a little bit differently. It's still top fill, but the way that the coil head fits in, it's just a little bit different. They just do it a little bit different of a way. On this one, you unscrew the bottom and then you pull the coil head out. This is held in there by O-rings and there's two little tabs right here that hold your coil head in. I don't want to pull this out because I do have a little bit of juice in there. Maybe I can do it sideways. Yeah, coil head just comes out. These are the Prism S coil heads, mouth to lung coil heads. You can see right there, there's notches on both sides, and then those notches line up with the flat part. You just press this in, and then you screw the base down back over it. While we're here, we might as well pop the top and fill this one as well. The Endura T20S has a much larger, bigger juice fill. There's nothing in the way. No kidney-shaped holes here. We just put the juice there, and we go bleh. Done. Then of course this all just uh, screws back together and you put it on the battery. So yeah, they are not complicated devices. They're both very similar. They both deliver a very nice mouth to lung vape. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape these guys. Yeah, these are both just uh, very similar products. They do have some differences. The Joytech Exceed has a very large sort of airflow adjustment. You can go clouds, bro, clouds. They have direct lung tanks, which I don't think, man, they really should have done. I think they should have just stuck with the mouth to lung because it's better. And you can switch it from one big slot to a few little dots, three little holes. And that's where I set it on those three little holes. And it gives me a stellar mouth to lung vape. Hmm. 18 milligram Glacier Banana. I love it. I love the throat hit and the flavor on this is stellar. Glacier Banana is one of those juices that I have been vaping literally for years and years and years on end. I know exactly what it should taste like. It tastes great in the Joytech Exceed. And it tastes equally as delicious in the Inokin Endura T20S. When I vape it, I go, yeah, that's good. That's Glacier Banana. That tastes stellar. They're both two mil capacity tanks, and like I said in the up closey version, the Inokin one says it's a 1500 ma or milliamp hour battery, and Joytech doesn't say what the Exceed is, not on any website I've ever seen. If anybody knows what the milliamp hour or ma of this Exceed battery is, let me know down in the comments so I can put it in the description, but I cannot find it anywhere, and I think it's really bizarre that Joytech did that, that they didn't give that information out. Just seems overall a little bit weird to me. So like I said, the Inokin Endura T 
C20S is a little bit bigger. It's 20 millimeters around where the Exceed is 19 millimeters around. They both have a two mil capacity tank and the Endura T20S doesn't, so, so it doesn't have any sort of like adjustable airflow. Thankfully, the included airflow, the stock airflow on this is literally absolutely perfect for mouth to lung. Not only is it perfect for mouth to lung, but it's also a lot, lot smoother than the Joytech Exceed airflow. Also, I think the stock drip tip that comes with the Endura T20S is really nice and comfortable as well for what it's worth. Ooh, so where do I land on this little showdown between the Inokin Endura T20S and the Joytech Exceed? Ultimately, they're both going to give you a very nice mouth to lung vape. If you're looking for a nice little mouth to lung vape, little two mil capacity tank, both of these are going to give you, a, they're both going to give you a great mouth to lung vape. I really do enjoy both of them. But I have to pick a winner. I have to, which is a little bit difficult to do. And this is going to be based purely on personal preference. They're both two mil tanks. You fill them from the top. They both come with stock drip tips. The Exceed is a little bit smaller. The Endura is a little bit bigger. The Exceed does have adjustable airflow, but honestly, I don't like it. I don't need it. If I'm buying a little device like this, I want it to be for mouth to lung. And thankfully, the Inokin Endura a T20S is flawless right out of the box great coil heads, mouth to lung. The Exceed offers two types of coil heads. They do the mouth to lung coil head and they also do the direct lung coil head, which I don't need, which I don't care about. I have plenty of direct lung devices. What I don't have is a lot of good mouth to lung stuff. I think if I had to pick a winner, this isn't gonna be a huge surprise. I do really like the Inokin Endura T20S. I think it's a stellar mouth to lung vape, nice and easy to fill, long lasting coil heads, overall great device. The Exceed is great too. It's fine. It's just a little bit smaller. It feels a little bit jankier. I do not like this ring of light on here, although that I know that will appeal to a lot of people. It does not appeal to me. I don't need lights and flashing shit all over my vapes. So I'm going to give the win to the Endura T20S from Inokin, but only by a little bit. I like the finish better. I like the airflow better. And overall, in my opinion, it's just an all around a little bit better of a vape than the Joytech Exceed. And look, Look, I don't want to, you know, dissuade anybody from checking out the Joytech Exceed. It's cool. It's small. I don't like the light. I don't like the direct lung coil heads, and I don't like the airflow on it. And when I say I don't like the airflow on it, that doesn't mean I hate the airflow on it. It just means I prefer the Inokin Endura. I think it's smoother and, and a better overall airflow. Okay, now I'm rambling. Stop! If you're looking for some nice little mouth to lung vapey action, these are two very plausible options right here. They have both worked fantastic for me with the edge going a little bit to the Inokin. But anyway, yeah, that's what I got, everybody. I'll have links down in the description for both of these devices where you can check them out if you are interested. But yeah, that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, double toot. Let's keep on vaping. Oh, that 18 milligram, though.